All right. Has anybody ever heard um, of the focus energy matrix? Anybody ever heard of this? Ever, anybody ever seen it? All right. A couple of people. All right. So this is a um, study that these two scientists did, and they kind of like put us in pockets of kind of what we do, right? So if you look at this, right, you know, if you have low, ener low energy, high energy, right, focus or high focus, you saw this with Brian's name today, he was talking about focus, time, and energy, so that's a theme that we'll find through here. I find that working on having high energy, right, is kind of the best thing you can do if you bring energy, it kind of brings up everybody else, so these are important things. So as you're looking at this, right, you kind of get an idea, if you kind of see where you are, right, we're, we're going to figure that out in a minute, the next slide. All right, so these are kind of what, uh, kind of a definition of what these things are. So as we read these, I want you to be, there's, so remember, nobody can see how you vote in here, right? So be honest with where you are, right? If you think you are a distractor, right? If you think you are a procrastinator, go ahead and put those in there because your boss, if he's sitting next to you, is not going to see, right? Then everybody is something, right? So a uh, distractor, right? They have high energy but lack focus, Fight fires. I know we have a lot of firefighters in here. Um, lack strategy. We try not to do that too much. Overpromise, underdeliver. Aggressive, right? Um, and then they have difficulty adjusting behaviors for new requirements. So if you think you may fall into that, hopefully none of us do. That could be you in the next one. Procrastinators. This is me. Um, lack strategy and goals. Fail to make, take initiative. Fail to raise the level of performance. Fail to enhance strategy. Right, feel insecure. The next one. All right, uh, disengage. You don't want to be this. If you have any of these guys in your facility, you might want to try. They probably have either been there too long, right, or you need to get rid of them, right. But they do the bare minimum. High burnouts, feel exhausted, withdraw, act like problems don't exist, easily overwhelmed. All right. So for general managers in the building, okay, I've been the, I've owned some facilities. I've been the general manager of three or four facilities, and you know you have the five stages of grief, right, when somebody passes you, these things. So these are kind of like the uh, five stages of a GM, right? So a lot of times we have GMs, they come in, they start out, they're all full of piss and vinegar, right? They get everything done, right? And then they're like, their owner's not giving them support, something's not going on, they kind of get distracted, right? And then they become procrastinators, right? Then they become disengaged, and then it's time for them to kind of move on. So. So the four stages of a GM, I, it's not really, but I kind of joke, right? Because it's kind of what happens to you, right? But ideally, we're not going to be any of those people, right? Next slide. So purposeful. So purposeful is like where we all want to be, right? This is where we all want to be is purposeful, right? So who in here is purposeful? Raise your hand if you think you're purposeful. All right, okay. All right, next slide. All right, now we're going to take a quiz because we're going to find out you're going to put your answer in, right? So you're going to pick which one of these four things that you think you are on the Mentimeter, right? Be honest, right? Be honest, because you're going to find out that I can prove whether or not you're being honest or not, right, in a few seconds. All right, so it's pretty good, right? We got a lot, everybody voted. We got a lot of purposeful people in here, right? All right, so go to the next slide. Go back to the PowerPoint. All right, and go to the next slide. All right, so... The study that they did, right, they found out that this is the actual number. 40% of people are distractors, 30% are managers, are procrastinators, 20% are disengaged, and 10% are purposeful. So either, right, we're like an anomaly, right, because we have a lot of purposefuls, right, but this over a study, and they did they, this a ton of, a ton of managers, like 20,000 managers at different types of companies, right, this is the actual thing that they found, right? Now, I'm going to say that these are at Fortune 500 companies, right? So these are managers. They did a study of managers of Fortune 500 type companies or whatever. So I'm going to say that in our industry, we probably do have more purposeful because if you're not purposeful in our industry, it's kind of hard. You'll just disappear. It's kind of hard not to be purposeful. But as a general rule, when you're looking at your employees, right? That's why I know how many employees you have, right? You need to do a self-evaluation of kind of your employees and kind of where where you think they may be, right? Because this is kind of more people fall into this type of category than are the purposeful, right? So let go back to the uh, next slide. All right. Um, so to be the purposeful manager, which we want to, want to do, right? Find purpose and meaning in your work. 
right? Challenging, the, changing the why and the how you do things. Know what you want to accomplish, right? Set goals, schedule your time, have a supportive network, right? Practice self-renewal. That was part of, uh, part of Brian's thing this morning. Develop your self-awareness and practice your mindfulness. So if you look at the stuff that Brian talked about, the things that he did, right, that made him better, like the gift and all this stuff. So a lot of those things of the purposeful manager are connected in there, right? Next slide. So um, as a leader, right, so there's a, there's a leader track going on for, the, for your employees for the most part, right? So as a leader, you can do a few things. Create compelling visions and stories, right? Be clear about goals and expectations. Does anybody use SMART goals in their work? Right? So SMART goals, specific, measurable, attainable, relate, uh, re- reachable, and that time-sensitive goal. So if you, have, if you want to look that up, right, if you're looking for a way to use a strategy to give your employees some goals and objectives, use SMART goals is a good place to start. Right? I found them to be very useful. All right? Uh, create time, space, and energy for innovation and creative thinking. We don't do that very much in our industry, right? Just because we're always, a lot of us are fighting fires, we're doing things, so we don't spend as much time as we do. Um, el- eliminate busy work. We're going to talk about that a lot today. Uh, present them with meaningful challenges and relax formal procedures. I don't... Uh,